Hey, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much of the green stuff do you actually need if you wanna get started in becoming your own boss in the CDL truck driving field. So what am I even talking about? So we get this question all the time saying, hey, I'm very interested in becoming an owner operator. I wanna be my own boss. I got my license already. I've been driving for a while. I just wanna get going. But usually people don't really know how much money they actually need. So. Today we're gonna to break down exactly what are your, gonna be your expenses and what, what, what we recommend you're gonna need if you wanna get started in this business. So, just like anything else, if you wanna start a new business, you're gonna to have to invest some money to get started, right? Because if you didn't, it wouldn't really be a business. And also, everybody would be doing it, which means the, mar the margins and the profit wouldn't be there as much as, as if there was some barriers to entry. So to get involved with our owner operator program or any uh, program out there, you're going to need a few things. One, you're definitely going to need a truck, right? So the truck's going to have its own purchase price. It's going to have its own price. Two, you're going to need a trailer, right? So if you have a truck only with no trailer, you ain't going to pull nothing and you ain't going to make any money. Three, the other startup cost is going to be your insurance. Insurance is going to require a minimum down payment. And then you're also going to need some uh, some money for your documentation and for your fees that you're going to be using to set up your corporation and then you're going to need some operating capital right so you're going to need five different items um, that you're going to have to make sure you're prepared for when you get started now of course people th this video is going to show our recommendations if you want to get it done the right way people have used more money and a little bit less money to get their ball rolling but it gets kind of scary so today we're going to be showing you the minimum that you're going to need if you want to take the next step and become an owner operator. So first let's talk about the trucks. So when it comes to trucks, track, uh, tractor trailers or the tractors itself, they can range anywhere from the very low end of $10,000 if they're all beat up to brand new $120,000, $130,000. The one thing that you have to understand about buying a truck is that just because you buy a hundred something thousand dollar truck and it's nice and pretty and it's nice and new, when you go pick up your load, the, the, the customer's not gonna pay you anymore because you have a prettier truck, right? So you wanna make sure that you're practical when you're buying at least your first truck. Once you're making a whole bunch of money, you go crazy, buy what you want. So what, the price range that we usually like to keep our trucks in that we sell is anywhere from that 30 to $40,000 price range. If you're looking to finance it, uh, the banks are usually gonna want anywhere from 10 to $15,000 down. So let's go on the high end and say $15,000 at a minimum if you want to finance yourself a truck. All right, so that's, that's the first thing. So keep that on board. Next thing is going to be your trailer. So the trailer itself is going to be anywhere from six dollars to $10,000 depending on the quality of trailer that you want to go for. Uh, the trailers that we use are something that looks like this right here, which are called dry van trailers. These are the cheapest ones. They're the most simple and the, and the stuff that's m the most reliable, right? So say we go on the low end, say say we go if we find one for five thousand. So you got fifteen thousand, five thousand. You're already at twenty thousand dollars to get started, and that's just two out of the five items that we talked about. Step number three is you're going to need to get some insurance. Now insurance is going to be anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year. Overall, the insurance company is going to want a deposit down before you get started. We'll say that's a five thousand dollar deposit because that's about average of what they're looking for. So right now we're about twenty five thousand dollars all in, and then you're going to need some uh, money for fees. So money for fees you should allocate about two thousand dollars depending on who you have. Uh, do the actual paperwork, DOT number, MC number, and all that stuff. So you're going to need about $27,000, and we still need one more thing to get started. And now we have the fifth and final item that most people forget about, which is operating capital. What is operating capital? So you're going to need money to get started. What do I mean by that? You need to pay for your fuel. You need to pay for uh, food when you go on the road. You need to p make sure that you have enough money where you can keep running for about a month's time uh, and w without getting any more money coming in, right? So why? When you first get started working for somebody or working as your own boss, I should say, it, you, it's not like a paycheck, right? So you don't work this week and get paid next week. You actually have to do the work. You have to submit the invoice. Usually in the business world, it takes anywhere from two weeks to four weeks to get paid. That means that whole time in the beginning, 
you're going to need to be coming out of pocket to make sure you're paying for your expenses because it is going to take a while for you to start getting paid. Now, once you do get paid, then you're going to get paid consistently every single week as long as you keep working every single week and then the cash flow issue is a piece of cake. So with that one, I recommend a minimum of $5,000. That should be enough to carry you for about a month. All right, so if we wrap all the numbers up for the tractor, you're going to need about $15,000 minimum. Say we get a trailer for $5,000 or $5,000 down, depending on what you want to do. You're also going to have insurance down payment of $5,000. So you're going to have your fees and registration for about $2,000. And then you're also going to have the operating capital, which is $5,000 itself. So all in, you're talking about $32,000 to get started. Now, for some people, that does seem like a whole lot of money. Now, if it seems like a whole lot of money for you, we can actually help you out with that. If you don't have your CDL license yet, we can help you get a CDL license and help you get a job making more money so and then you can save up that $32,000. Because think about it. Are you willing to invest $32,000 one time, do the work all year round? You're going to be working anyway for you or for somebody else. And at the end of the year, have $120,000 to $160,000 in pure profit. I mean, that's a pretty good investment to me. I don't know about you. But if you don't have your CDL license, definitely want to get that first. And who do you go to get your CDL license from? These guys right over here. Drive an Academy, we're the best school around. We're the only school around that can actually guarantee that we get you a license. If you're interested in learning how we can actually guarantee that we get you a license, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or look at the website below, cdldriveanacademy.com. Again, that's cdldriveanacademy.com. Fill out the form there and one of our team one of our team members will definitely be giving you a call shortly. Also, if you have your CDL license yet and you don't have the $32,000 saved up, then you're definitely going to need some help with that. You're going to need to get a higher paying job or figure out how to perform a savings plan. Because usually there's two types of truckers out there. There's the partiers and then there's the savers. The party truck drivers, those are the guys who are making a whole bunch of money. but that wasted all on parties because they got all this money coming in. Or you got the people who are doing something for the future. Those are the guys who are working their butt off, they're ready to rock and roll, and they're saving as much as they can because they know one day they want to become their own boss. So which one are you and which one do you want to become? If you need help in finding a higher paying job, we have jobs that range anywhere from 50,000, 75,000, and even higher if you have some experience. Definitely want to give us a call. We have our own um, a job placement program available where we can help all of our students out. Even if you're not our student, we can help you find a job as well. Give us a call 908-525-3609 or again visit the website below cdldrivenacademy.com. What I want to leave you with is this. Are you willing to do things now so you can eventually do anything you want in the future? So can you sacrifice for today? Maybe don't buy that fancy car that you can't really afford yet. Maybe stay your, keep yourself humble so you can save the money and then you can invest it into your own business and then you can grow that where in the future you can do whatever you want. So our mission here is to help a million people get on the road to freedom with their CDL license. And if you need our help again one more time, give us a call 908-525-3609. We're located in Linden, New Jersey. If you're watching this at some crazy hour of the night, visit the website cdldrivenacademy.com, fill out the form there, and one of our team members will definitely be giving you a call shortly. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.